So now how to place a trade. We accept that there are lots of different platforms out there and lots of brokerage accounts, but the most frequent one is MetaTrader 4. Uh, so we'll show you how to essentially uh, place a trade using MetaTrader 4, given that it's the industry norm. So what we want to do is in order to place a trade, you get an order ticket, you right click, and then it will give you a choice as to whether to have instant execution or a pending order. An instant execution um, is essentially getting to the market live. We highly recommend you don't do this purely because we only trade the end of day and weekly timeframes. So we are more prone to having pending orders where we just set um, an order up with our broker and we just let the market come to us. We don't want to come to the market. We have the requirement that the market needs to come to us before we're actually even entered into the trade. And if it doesn't come to us, then that's absolutely fine. We'll just let it do its thing. So that's the difference between an instant execution order and a pending order. And we can right click on the chart or on the currency pair in question in order to get this order ticket up. Or we can even just click a new order here in the top section of MetaTrader 4. It will give us this frame here, this order ticket. So for example, we've got euro against the dollar here. We've got the volume where we need to put our stop loss. We've got the choice of instant execution here. So as we've got the instant execution, we don't need to put in um, our order level uh, because it will just get us in right there and then into the market, no matter where it is. So here on this order ticket, as we can see, we've got the symbol. We can always toggle between different currency pairs on this. So if you want to trade something else, you just click on it and you've got the whole list. We've got the volume. This, of course, comes back to trade sizing. You should never risk more than 1% of your trading account. And uh, certainly the 10 here corresponds with uh, 10 lots. We definitely do not want to be placing 10 lots on our trading account because that would probably wipe us out if that goes the other way if you've got a small trading account. So we need to put the equivalent in lots of 1% of our trading account. Put our stop loss in here. Um, our stop loss is essentially the price that where our broker takes us out of the market if the market does end up going the other way. We don't want to be in a losing trade to the point where we're losing just more and more money for the sake of losing more and more money. We want to get out, cut our losses short after only taking a 1% hit. We don't want to blow up any accounts um, at all. We want to keep our risk to a minimum by obviously having a stop loss in place. And um, of course, on the flip side, we have a take profit um, price as well. So if the price um, does, so that if the market does hurtle in our direction and um, we can automatically get out of the market, having taken a nice chunky profit um, without having to worry about our trade, we're just there, we've taken our profit and we're out of the market now. Great. So the great thing about MetaTrader is if you place an order, long or short, um, within the MetaTrader platform, it will automatically um, plot uh, show us in lines where we've entered and where our stop loss is and where our target is. So for example, in this one here, this example, we've bought at this level, our stop loss is at this level and our take profit is up here. SL standing for stop loss, TP standing for take profit. You can see here that <laughs> even though this is just an example, if we're looking at a reward risk perspective, you would see that it's got a very poor reward to risk because the distance between our entry and our stop loss is twice that of the distance between our entry and our take profit. So that's just something to point out to you. So if we've got our order placed um, and we're in motion, the trade is live, we can modify it. It's very easy to do so. So we can click on the order itself under trades, double click on it and we can modify the order. So we can change our stop loss points or our take profit level. It's absolutely fine. Very easy to do that. All trades will be resting here in this section here. So if we do happen to enter the market uh, by means of instant execution, then what we can do um, is double click on the trade itself and the order ticket will come up giving us the opportunity to modify either the stop loss or the take profit levels respectively or we can even exit the position if we wish. So placing a pending order is pretty much um, the same as placing um, an instant execution order. We just go to the new order ticket at the top or right click on the currency pair and then select the order ticket and also the option to have a pending order like so. 
this will give us one other option um, compared to the order ticket compared to if it was an instant execution. The only difference will really be is where we actually wanted to get into the market, what level we want to be into the market. So we can have this as a pending order and we'll only be in the market if price comes to the point or level which we've got resting in the pending order or as a pending order. So once again, we have the order ticket for a pending order. We have the volume, this section here, we've got the currency symbol like so, um, which we can toggle between if we wanted to change that currency. Our all important stop loss um, to protect our, our capital if the trade does go the other way is here. Our take profit on the flip side, if we want to get out of the market as soon as we've made our nice big profit, we can with our take profit option. It's not compulsory to have either of them, but we highly recommend that you do. And of course, the all important pending order type and the price here. The expiry date and time is optional, although we recommend that we always say if it's not triggered within a day, um, we just want to delete the order. This is typically our style of trading based on our strategies. And then we just place the trade and let it do its thing, let the market come to us. And if it does come to us, we'll be triggered into the trade. If it doesn't come to us, then we just delete the order. When we're placing a pending order, we do have different buy and sell types. You'll notice that we have a buy limit, a sell limit, a buy stop and a sell stop. So I just want to really clarify this for you because it can be quite confusing for some people who are new to the markets. Certainly when we were new to the markets, we all had the same problems with this broker jargon, but let's demystify it once and for all. So in order to um, place a buy trade, if we want to go long and speculate that price will go up, then we would only place or choose the buy limit option if the current price is above the desired buy entry price. Buy stop is the order type or the buy type we will place if the current price is below the desired entry price. So that's the difference between the both of them. Very important you get this right. The sell trade on the flip side, if we're looking to speculate that the market's going to go down, um, then we select a sell stop option if the current price is above the desired sell entry price. Conversely, if current price is below the desired entry price, then we select a sell limit. So now we've placed this order, we've got the lines, just like you saw before, painted on the charts like so. This green line to show us where we've actually entered into the market and the stop loss like so and the take profit above it. And there we go. What do you think of that? Trading does not have to be difficult or time consuming. In fact, all you need to become a profitable lazy trader is a single strategy which you can trade for only minutes a day. Visit thelazytrader.com and download for free five rapid ways to become highly profitable at Forex trading and your trade secret video pack so that you can copy the winning elite and rapidly accelerate your long-term success in financial markets trading. Trade profitably from as little as minutes a day and beat the banks and brokers at their own game. This is available for a limited time, so download it today. www.thelazytrader.com. It's free, fun, and most importantly, it will help you. Visit thelazytrader.com.